Hello folks, today I am going to be explaining to you how you can set up your new Roborock vacuum cleaner with the app. Now I will be sharing this tutorial using my iPhone since that's what I own, but the app is also available to download for Android devices and the functionality is the same. So to start with, make sure that you have your base hub assembled and powered on correctly and that the robot is connected to the base hub, either charging or charged but make sure the robot is also turned on. You can find the RoboRock app easily on the appropriate store on your phone. It is a free download. One thing to note is a free account with RoboRock is required. So with the robot turned on and the app downloaded, the first thing you are going to want to do is connect the vacuum cleaner to your home Wi-Fi. Now, a word of note, only 2.4 gigahertz networks for Wi-Fi are supported here. So if you are exclusively using a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network, then the robot will not detect that. Most home networks that support five gigahertz also do allow you to set up a separate 2.4 gigahertz network. Next up on the app, we just want to click the scan to connect button. That will then move us to the next step, which is to scan the QR. And for me, with my RoboRock Q7 Plus Max, that is located just under the lid here, right next to the dustbin. It will ask us to reset the Wi-Fi on the robot. Doing that is very easy. Just keep this cover open and you want to press down on the two outside buttons of the three that are at the front of the robot and hold those down for three seconds. And those are the dock and the spot clean buttons. Once you've done that, you should get a audible notification that the Wi-Fi is being reset. And also the Wi-Fi LED on the robot should start slow blinking. At this point, you can enter the information for your Wi-Fi network, including the SSID and the password. Your phone may also ask you to confirm that you are happy sharing that information with this device. And once you agree to that, it will take just a couple of minutes for the connection to be made. So just be patient, keep the app open and your phone close by. Now, once the connection is made, the robot is technically good to go. However, one thing I do recommend, especially if you have only recently taken it out of the box here, is to make sure that the firmware is up to date. That will ensure that you have smooth operation. So you should get the notification automatically to update the firmware if you have not done so, but you can also access the update from the menu settings of the app. Now, just be aware that the firmware update can take about five to 10 minutes. So just be patient while that process completes. It'll be worth it. And once that firmware update has been completed, then you can start playing about with the functions of the app. So you may wanna start by setting up some zones for your rooms or allowing the robot to set those up for you. And it's really clever and intuitive the way it does that. Once you start a cleaning cycle, it will begin by cleaning the outside edges of the room, and then it will start mapping the room itself. So absolutely fantastic the way this works. We've been using this now for a while and are really impressed with it. Really love this little robot. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys out. Thank you for watching.